Hi, and welcome back to Just the Plants Man, where we make plants for the people. Today is Thursday, February 7th, and it is day four of Just the Plants Man's version of raw food living. Okay, I don't have any rules, and I don't give many cares about what other people think about my version of raw fooding. It is what it is. It's what a mom does to get by. We're just flying by the seat of our pants. We're not preparing. We're not buying stashes of fruit that we need racks for in our kitchens to rotate through the fruit stash. I refuse to be that kind of raw vegan. It is too much work. So I can do it for a little bit, but as a lifestyle, I cannot be the constant produce picking person who has like mangoes on go and no. The most I can manage is making sure there's frozen bananas in the freezer and enough dates on hand. And if I'm lucky, I have some veggies in the fridge to make a salad at night. Why do you think that I made that uh, spiralized yam last night? I was out of greens, you guys. <laughs> I was improvising with what I had. I had one zucchini in the fridge. I had like a bit of cucumber. It was sparse, okay? But I, I pulled it together. I made it happen. So, no excuses. You can be raw vegan and be relatively unprepared. You just gotta know lazy vegan hacks like buy fresh salsa from the grocery store. Doesn't matter if it's not 100% raw. If they put some tomato paste in there, you're not going to combust. Okay. So, let's get over that level of perfectionism. And then raw food will be so much more attainable. Like I was watching my friend Clary Berry and she was talking about how she's going to be okay if she's doing raw through the week and then if she wants to have like a low fat salad dressing that's a bottled salad dressing on her salad then she's just gonna have it and I say good for you you do that you make raw as convenient for you as possible if that means buying a fat free sauce off the shelf who cares if it's gonna make you get that salad in your face go for it I'm all for lazy vegan and raw vegan hacks. Like, if we can make life as convenient as possible, then yes, please, I am all for it. So, let's go see what I eat today on day four of being the world's most unprepared raw vegan. 10.36 a.m. and I am trying to make my orange juice but it's taking quite a while as I have a little helper helping me. So, yeah, we'll be here for a bit. 12.11 p.m. and we're at London Drugs again because, hello, these yum onion chips are all yum for sure. I got the ranch last time, so I'm gonna try the maple, maple smoke today or tomorrow, but I'm buying them today, that's 100% for sure. I got some more curry lime kale chips, and I'm getting another bag of these because my kids actually ate the entire bag, so we're hoping that's going to happen again. This is why I love London Drugs. $3.99 for the coconut jerky, you guys. Usually, save on, it's like $7.99 something ridiculous like that. I refuse to pay that kind of price for some coconut jerky. But $3.99? Sold. Once again, eating kale chips in the car. It's a bad habit. But, um, yeah. Still in the car. Still snacking. I'm at my destination. No frills. Um, good stock still in there. But, um, I wanted some of this jerky, you yeah. know, to fuel my adventure. <laughs> I was just hungry. 
Oh yeah. Teriyaki. I love this stuff. It's very coconutty. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna go get my groceries. At my favorite place, we're at Goodstock getting ourselves some crackers from the French Raw Chef. Onion crackers, savory sprouted crackers, and coconut bacon because you know I love the coconut bacon. They also sell chocolate orange granola that's raw and this ginger lemon cinnamon granola. I am not much of a granola person, so, uh, -uh. but I am a chocolate person. Totally bought one of those. Can't wait to try it. I've been dreaming about chocolate so bad. And this truffle cheese. I love their truffle cheese. It's my favorite. I also love their curry cheese, but apparently my Edmonton friends were not buying it enough. That was the walnut brownie. You're going to see that later because I totally bought one to bring home. Totally raw, totally delicious. Going to totally smash that later. So yeah, Edmontonian friends go to Goodstock and say, hey, I heard you had a curry cheese. I think you guys need to bring it back because you need to try it. Back in my car and I got these chocolates. And I'm totally going to eat them before I get home, so I don't have to share with my children. <laughs> so, I'll let you guys know in a minute how they are. Ooh, yummy chocolate. Gluten free, nut free. Oh, I did it the wrong way. There you go. going to eat it right now. Mm-hmm. It's like a raw vegan icy square. Totally. Totally yummy. Totally delicious. Totally gonna eat the next one. I wish there was like 12 of these in here. <laughs> Literally. I would eat them all. It would take me a while because they're super rich, but... I do it eventually. Mm, I love chocolate. I love chocolate so much. 1.18 p.m. I'm home so I can finish the crumbs in the bottom of the bag. 1.22 p.m. And I always like to just start with dessert. Why, why hold off on the pleasure? Let's just get started with what we want to get started with already because this is where I want to start. Doesn't this look delicious? It's got like a date caramel sauce drizzled on top and a pecan. I love pecans, especially when they're blurry and out of focus, then they're super amazing. But we're gonna take a bite because that's just the best part of every dessert, like I said. I'm going to be really good. I'm just going to have a few bites and now I'm putting it away. We're done with it. You're going to go in the fridge now. But I will bust out the crackers and the truffle cheese because just my favorite snack. Like I said, I'm all about the crackers and the cashew cheese. Give it to me every day, all day. I'm not going to be seeing this for a long time. So I am living my best life. I told you guys. This is how I like to party in raw food land with this amazing truffle cheese from Goodstock. If you guys are in Edmonton, you need to go try it. It is so good with those raw crackers, you have no idea. I'm done my little snack tour. All this stuff is going, it's getting put away in the cupboard and the fridge respectively. This is how much I ate. See, we still got food left. We're still good. I didn't go crazy. I am unsure what I'm making for dinner, but I am sure that I definitely need some marinated, dehydrated mushrooms in whatever creation I decide to come up with. These are a staple.
All I put on these today was some garlic powder and some Paul Bragg. Low fat, but high taste and high sodium, but rule free, we don't care. 4.34 p.m. and I couldn't stop thinking about the peanut butter pie in the fridge topped with some raspberry jam. Since I'm not allowed to have real peanut butter and jam, I will improvise and have this. I love my life. I'm also going to get on making this dandy. I'm not going to be drinking it right now. I can guarantee you that. But I am going to make it and save it for later because it's always way too hot. So I always just let it sit for like two hours. But today I decided to put two of the packs of the dandy in instead of just one. And we're going to see how that works out. I was showing you guys the lemons because I was going to say something like how I should be drinking lemon water, but I'm not because I'm such a crappy raw vegan. But yeah, I'm, I'm at it again, this time with the dreamy dill cheese. And I got the crackers out because this is just what I do. I eat a little, I put it all away, I go do some other stuff, and then I'm like, hmm, kind of snacky again. So then I eat a little more. And these crackers, they have olive oil in them, and I literally do not care because they are so flippin' good, I'll make an exception. 4.46 p.m. and the snacktivities are coming to a close, so we're putting all this away now. I did, however, need to finish off with these three pieces of dried TNT honey mango for the win. Got on this bad girl at approximately 6.15, got off at 6.45, and then jumped on my uh, rebounder for 10 minutes of really low-key fun. Life update. I just finished exercising, and it's so dark in here because my one light <laughs> burnt out. <laughs> and I'm too lazy to change it. So we're just working with the one light here today, friends. But anyways, life update. I'm drinking my coffee. Well, my dandy. We call it my coffee, remember? I live in pretend land. And I did two packs instead of one in the Contigo. So much better, friends. So much better. I'm not even, like, really super starving, but it's, like, 7 o'clock. So I guess I should start making dinner, because... My mushrooms and my uh, peppers are all dehydrated. I think I'm going to go make some spring rolls. Some salad rolls. That's kind of the vibe I'm, I'm looking at for myself right now. So, let's get this. i got to get this show on the road. Yeah. All right. 7.13 p.m. and this is what your mushrooms will look like when they get out of the dehydrator and my kid was turning the light off and on and off and on before so that's why I'm sorry if you had a seizure. The avocado gods did not smile down upon me today friends. No, the avocado gods said girl you've had enough of us so this is what you're getting. You're getting I was screwed. So, not only was it gross, it was gross. If this happens to you when you make rice paper rolls or salad rolls or whatever you want to call them, do not get disheartened. Change rice paper brands because you know what? I am very adept at rolling rice paper up and brand matters this rose brand does not work thankfully even though it's a hot mess it still tastes amazing i made myself that maple mustard tahini dressing from the other day so i kept trying even with the crappy rose brand rice paper wraps and this is what happened. At least it stayed together, friends. And I have to say, I am so sick of spring mix and the like dark whatever leafy greens they put in because you see that? You see that? They're always half 
flippin rotten why i am so sick of it where's the petition to get this stuff out of our spring mixes because it ruins everything so i literally spent a good five minutes picking every last piece of that crap out of my spring mix so i don't have to deal with it if you're not afraid of a mandolin i suggest you use it but see, I managed to get two that weren't busting out. But if I was using my other rice paper wrappers, they would have all been pristine, perfect, amazing. And you guys would have been like, oh, wow, Nicole, you're so great at the salad rolls. So get yourself the right rice paper brand and you'll impress everybody. Okay, you can't work with subpar ingredients and expect stellar results. Kind of like relationships. <laughs> I did, however, make one manage to look semi-presentable to take a video for you guys that doesn't make you guys go, Ugh, what is going on with this woman? This food looks disgusting. But you know what? That's reality, baby. Welcome to my reality, friends. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me today and watching what I ate on this very non-structured day <laughs> in my life because that's just basically what they all are. I hope my dangly earrings aren't too distracting for you guys, but I figured, you know what, I never get to like go up and get dressed up and go out because I don't really go anywhere because I got too much stuff to do all the time so I thought I'm, I'm sick of wearing the same shirt every day in the video so I got a little bit dressed up for you guys <laughs> yeah this is what my world has come to you guys <laughs> anyways I hope you pretty plant people have a glorious day and you come see what kind of ridiculous raw food I put in my mouth tomorrow. Alright? Alright. You guys have a good day.